Man, there are some incompetent Imperial officers. Admiral Ozzel totally botched the Hoth mission. Basically, everyone on the Devastator messed up while chasing the Tantive IV. Piet failed to effectively use the Executor at the Battle of Endor, and even Tarkin arguably did more bad than good. That's why this young man is a breath of fresh air. Not only does General Maximilian Veers have one of the best names in Star Wars, he was one of the most effective, competent, and intelligent officers in the Imperial military. Let's start at the very beginning. Unlike most high-ranking Imperial officers, Veers did not come from a wealthy, well-connected family. Instead, he worked his way through the Imperial Academy just like everyone else and excelled, graduating top of his class. His lack of personal connection and ties to the Imperial elite would hurt him, as he was consistently assigned to difficult missions and often overlooked for promotions. Still, time and time again, Veers not only survived, but excelled. Veers developed a familiarity and later an expertise with Imperial Heavy Walkers. As his career developed, he not only contributed to Walker models and AT-AT design, but was seen as the authority on Heavy Walker military strategy. Veers would gain recognition by not only Darth Vader, but also Grand Admiral Thrawn, leading to his promotion to Major General. Finally, Veers' grasp and brilliance in the area of ground-based warfare was recognized by the Empire. We get the following in the Galaxy Guide reference book for The Empire Strikes Back. General Maximilian Veers is the most effective combination of cunning, ruthless efficiency, and loyalty to the Empire that the Imperial Army has ever produced. His career is noteworthy for the large number of former superiors who have placed themselves on record as being in support of him. Veers may be the only living Imperial officer who doesn't share an all-consuming fear of Darth Vader. This is not from a lack of respect, rather the two seem to respect one another, as Vader appreciates Veers' ruthless and cunning nature. This is all incredibly high praise, and Veers backs it up. He was given the enormous responsibility for leading all ground forces of Darth Vader's personal death squadron. Despite the fact that Admiral Ozzel totally blundered the attack on Hoth, Veers competently led Blizzard Force planet side, destroying the Rebel's shield generator and striking the faction with a devastating blow. Unfortunately, at the end of the battle, a Rebel terrorist flew their snowspeeder into the head of his at, -AT. As a side note, this scene actually was written up to appear in The Empire Strikes Back, but was never filmed. Nonetheless, the event has been included in both canon and legends continuities. Veers thankfully survived, but was crippled by the attack. The Empire in its current state was more or less destroyed after the Battle of Endor. However, I have no doubt that had it existed for a few more years, Veers would have continued to climb through Imperial ranks, ultimately controlling all of the Empire's ground forces. Unfortunately, the splintering Empire never retained its former glory and the general's skills would somewhat go to waste. Unfortunately, he died attempting to subjugate a weapons manufacturer during the Dark Empire Crisis. For some reason, by the time of his death, he had been severely demoted to the position of captain. I can only call this severe mismanagement and incompetence by the military leaders of Operation Shadow Hand. And that's the story. Unfortunately, Veers' son was a disgrace, defecting to the Rebel Alliance, but let's not let that take away from the man himself. Not only does he lead probably the most stunning victory of the Empire during the original trilogy, but Veers also stands closer to Darth Vader than probably anyone else in the entire series. And I mean that literally. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Let me know what you think of General Veers, why he was demoted to captain by the time of the Dark Empire trilogy, and I'd also like to know who's your favorite Imperial. Thanks for watching guys, as always this has been Eckhart's Ladder. May the Force be with you.